Hey, how's it going, Beer Strollers? Um, I wanted to talk to you guys today about the Varring Jar Heated Beard Brush. That's actually how you pronounce it. It's Var Ring Jar. Um, it comes from a term of the Varangian Guard, which is actually um, Russian Vikings. They actually still guard the Pope to this day. There's a whole entire thing on it. They basically had the longest record of, like the longest time span of mercenaries throughout the entire history of the world. So here are some pretty, uh, some pretty badass dudes. So that's why um, this brush is named after them because what better than to have a badass beard brush. So with that said, we're gonna go ahead and uh, answer some questions you guys might have about this brush because some of the messages were coming in from uh, our uh, emails and phone calls and, and message posts and stuff like that. And some of the instructions may not have been as clear as you know some of us may have hoped. So I'm gonna try and break this down to you guys and a little bit more simplistic step-by-step -step, um, instructions. So we're gonna go get started, okay? So right now this thing is charging. I just pulled off the charger a few minutes ago and I was playing around with it to make sure it was good to go. So it's still got a red bar. It won't take much longer for it to turn to green because like I said, I only had it on for like eh, about a minute or so. So it's gonna take its time, but it will charge back up. Um, one of the things you need to understand about this, while this is being charged, it cannot be used. You can't plug it into the wall and continue using it to get it to work. It has to be unplugged before you start using it. Now, go ahead and unplug it here. You just pull it out like that, okay? Set that aside. And then we're going to go from there, and I'm going to show you guys some things. Now, there's a lock feature on the back of this thing. I don't know if you guys can really see that really well. I'll try to see if I can get it on there. Now, if you go from left to right, uh, with it the way we look at it like this, you're gonna that goes from lock to unlock. Now, what you need to keep in mind is that if this thing is locked and you go and press that button and hold it, you can hold this thing all day and it's not gonna turn on. That's exactly what it's designed for. So that way, if you throw it in your bag or something like that, and something's pressed on top of it, it's not gonna start. It's it's a safety feature for your guys' you know, comfort and convenience, and so you don't have to worry about it. See, I've been talking this whole time, and it has not been going on now. I'm going to go ahead and unlock it now for you guys and show you. That was actually one of the concerns. People were saying that it didn't work when they pressed and held this thing, and they didn't check the little lock switch on there. So maybe that'll help some of you guys that were getting frustrated about why this thing wasn't working. So now that I have the lock switch off, go ahead and press and hold. It should only take a few seconds, about three seconds, and now that's when the magic starts happening. You guys can see here that it's starting to blink, which means it's heating up. If it's blinking blue, that means it's heating up. Solid blue means it's heated up to that setting. Now, this will take approximately three to five minutes to heat up, okay? A little bit about the battery that you guys may not be aware of. This is not your standard cell phone battery, even though it is a lithium ion battery. Those things are a lot more expensive. If you remember back in the day when you actually had your replaced your batteries, when you would order a replacement battery, it would cost you around 100 to 150 bucks. Obviously, if this thing costs 100 dollars, it doesn't have that quality of battery in it. So it's not going to have as long of a life, you know? We're trying to keep, you know, it economically feasible and you also give you guys some good use out of it. All right. So keep that in mind. All right. You're only going to get and the brochure says it's about 60 minutes of standby time. Um, I haven't tried it on this setting because this is very, very low setting and I have a little bit more hair on that. And so I try to put it a little bit higher to get it to, to relax more. But when I have it on the highest setting, and that's that's three so let me go ahead and go up there you push one more time it brings up the two see it says it's it's charging the two now and so it's obviously it's not solid so it's going to take you know i have to wait for it to heat up now that time frame is going to be approximately three to five minutes i don't know if i covered that with you guys already but i figured i'd mention it again um obviously it'll take five minutes roughly um, plus or minus a few seconds for it to heat up fully to to the highest setting now, I've been able to get about two uses out of this. Basically, meaning it takes about five minutes for this thing to heat up, and then about 10 to 15 minutes of use, no, excuse me, correction, five to 10 minutes of use, and then turn it off and come back to it the next day and five minutes to heat up, five to 10 minutes to use, and then that's and then I have to recharge it. Mean be, reason being is, the more heat, the more power, the faster the battery drains. I'm not trying to, you know, treat you guys like you don't know what you're doing, but 
just so you understand the you know the the process behind it more power being used means more power being drained from the battery all right so just keep in mind that you're only going to get about two uses out of it okay i've had a lot of people complaining that you know they've only been able to get one to two uses out of it well you have to keep in mind the time okay highest setting you get about 30 minutes out of this thing maybe less okay and as of course these things age the batteries will they because batteries have a memory the battery will eventually start to deplete, okay? But that shouldn't be for at least a while. That takes a very long time. You're, you'll notice that with your cell phones too. The more and more you use them, the less and less it holds a charge. And you remember the first day you pulled it out of the packaging, that thing was running like, like, like a raped ape. And that thing was just two days of battery life, three days of battery life. And then six months later, you get about six hours of battery life. That happens to batteries. Over time, they will wear out, okay? All right, so with that said, this thing is now officially heated up. I've talked long enough to get this thing to heat up and see now it's all solid. Now, if you want to turn it off, just press and hold, and it's off. That's it. Go ahead and relock it. Now, keep in mind, this thing is a heated beard brush. Don't try to put it around things that it could catch fire. It can get pretty hot around this area right here. Uh, try not to touch that area directly and don't put it on anything that it could catch fire, okay? Just think safety first, guys, all right? Because this does have heat and depending on the combustion, combustion rate of certain materials, it could catch fire like toilet paper or something like that. Obviously, it does not have that high of a flash point and so it'll catch fire pretty fast, okay? So just be safe. Don't go setting this down on something random, okay? until it's it's properly been cooled down if you're married you're or you have a girlfriend they will tell you all about it with their curling irons and stuff like that you don't go set it on heated st on stuff especially if you want to keep the the dwelling you're living in all right uh, i hope this answered most of your guys's questions if you have any more comments concerns go ahead and feel free to write us at the beard struggle at the beard struggle.com or call us on our, our 800 number or send us a message on Messenger. We try to respond to you guys usually within a few hours, but keep in mind, hours of operations are Monday through Friday, 11 to 6, okay? So if you message us on a Saturday or a Sunday, we may not get back to you till Monday, okay? But we will get back to you guys. All right, have a great day. Beard on, beard strugglers.